Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Day in the Life of a Teacher on Summer Break. If you've watched the other videos, you know I'm working with my friends this summer. Um, they have a photography business, and it's a husband and a wife, and the wife had their first baby um, a couple weeks ago, so I'm helping her out while she's on maternity leave. Um, so I've been busy with that, like, most mornings. We've had a couple where it's morning and evening, and today we do not have it in the morning for the first time in a couple weeks, and we have it this evening. So I slept in and it felt good. Um, slept until about nine. It's probably like nine twenty now, um, and I'm like, yeah, let's uh, make a video today. I'm trying to be better at making like full length videos. It is a beautiful morning, but of course I left all of my patio stuff uncovered, and it rained all day yesterday, like poured. We had flash flood warnings, um, so I wanted to come out here and like read and start my day out here. But it is literally everything is completely soaked because I did not. Put the covers on. My bad. All right, so things I want to accomplish today. Um, first of all, I just remembered I need to bring the garbage out today, except I didn't last night because it was boring. Um, sorry if you hear my dogs wrestling each other right behind me. And uh, I need to go get new propane because both of my tanks are empty. Oh my gosh, you guys. They are actually like safe. Anytime I start talking, they feel the need to just get so excited. Um, I want to work on some TBT. I want to work on some TBT stuff for a little bit and I need to clean and do laundry because my dogs have a doggy door so it's not super muddy in here but they just came in wet a few times yesterday so I just want to back them up and then we have pictures tonight so I think probably around four-ish maybe a little bit after I will need to go um, meet them at the baseball field to take T-ball pictures. Nine teams of T-ball I think we have tonight. So, all right. Uh, anyways. Oh my goodness, Rudy. All right, so let's uh, get this day started, shall we? There we got one small thing off the checklist, getting the garbage down before it gets picked up. So um, I'm gonna start my morning with some coffee and reading. I'm reading The Last Flight. Um, I'm not very far into it. It's pretty good so far. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Of course, as soon as I start talking, we have to come up and say hi. Um, so, I'll do a little little time lapse of reading and coffee. It won't be very exhilarating, but um, I'm gonna start by doing that, and then maybe I'll take these guys on a walk after to get them out and about since it's been a while, and since it rained all day yesterday, and then maybe some TBT. So, let's, let's read and get some coffee in us, though. We'll see if they do this the entire time I try to read, because that's where I'm going to try to read since my patio furniture is soaked right now. Nice, relaxing morning, huh, boys? They finally settled down and I was able to read. Almost, almost spilt my whole coffee, but we didn't. We caught it. We were good. Um, I think it's time to take them. Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? It's a little chilly um, out, but it's sunny, blue skies, so we're, we're going to go for a walk.
and we are back. We did just over three miles and it took us just under an hour. Not the fastest walk because they stop and sniff a lot. Um, but I've seen on TikTok that them sniffing is more exhausting than them just walking. So we always stop and sniff and let them check things out. I've heard it's mentally stimulating for them. So now they're getting some water and hopefully we'll be tired. It was beautiful out there, like perfect temperature to be outside. If I was on a boat, I'd want it to be hotter, but for like going for a walk, it felt so good. Um, made me want to start my everyday during, doing that, but it also, um, I'm not a morning person. I struggle to get out of bed, so to do that before I have to work would be tough, but maybe on days like this, it seems easy to do. But anyways, um, now that we are back from that and they'll be a little tired, I want to use that time to um, work up in my office on some TPT stuff. So I'm gonna get some beverages ready for up there, get my computer set up, and then I'll chat with you about what I'm making. So, yeah. Even after that walk, did Rudy just go bring that frisbee in for me to throw? Yes, yes he did. I'm gonna take a little break, buddy. It is now one o'clock. Um, I worked in the daily math review for about an hour and it'll be good. I'm excited for it. It's just time consuming. So I'm glad I'm doing it this summer because if I try to keep up with this during the school year, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So it'll be nice to have this done. And then as the school year goes, I can always make tweaks to it as I see needed. Um, yeah, I'm just, I think this will be a good way to kick off our math block like right after recess, come in and they can do a couple of problems for the day um, and just kind of like a little spiral review because there's definitely some skills. And I noticed this year with our new curriculum, like addition and subtraction, we didn't get a lot of practice with that. So um, I've been kind of incorporating that a lot right away. I've only done three weeks. I'll show you what I have so far. Um, I started kind of with like a second grade review and then easing into the third grade stuff. So here's what I have done. I will eventually put this on TPT, but probably not until I get 10 weeks done and then I can make it like a growing bundle. But I only have three weeks and it's kind of time consuming to make. So here's what I got. Someone asked how I make my TPT products. So I always make almost everything in Google Slides. Um, so this is on Google Slides. And right now I'm using the outlining the topics that I've included. That way I just can make sure I don't miss anything and can also uh, keep track of what's been brought up in the review. So, this is the format I went with. I did two days on each sheet and then just labeled it which week it is. Um, so again, I started with like second grade review stuff with like two digit addition, um, place value, comparing numbers, some time to like the nearest five minutes. So here we have again some of that stuff. And then Friday I just did one page, so I did it a little bit bigger with like some matching stuff. Week two, I kept it with the two digit, added in some measurement. And then on week three, I threw in a little bit of fractions, just basic like color and one third of this. I know that it wouldn't have been taught yet in that year, but they basic fractions they, is a review from second grade. And it's a good time just to talk about it as we go over it each day. And then I went up to three digit addition and subtraction and I went to four digit place value and I went to time to the nearest minute. minute. Kept measuring to the nearest inch for now. But yeah, so it doesn't look like a lot, but I mean, making it is time consuming and then um, like making the fraction stuff and just, yeah. So I am excited for that to be done. I think it'll be a great resource for my students and also for any teacher that chooses to use it. It just, it's a little bit, takes a little bit of time to make and get done. So um, I'll keep working on it little by little. But, got this guy here. Um, I think it's time to eat some lunch. I had a little bit, a little snack while I was working on that, but um, let's make some lunch. For lunch, I want to make some burgers, and by burgers I mean burger, I guess, because it's just me. Uh, maybe I'll make two, I can have one later for dinner, but um, on the Blackstone, but I don't have propane, so we're gonna go get propane, and then come back and make some lunch. And then you can see I have junk all over my counter, so after lunch we'll do some cleaning. Let's go. Alright, the propane has been secured. I'm gonna bring this over to the Blackstone. 
I'm not gonna lie, I personally have never made burgers on my Blackstone. So we'll see how this goes, but um, I think it should be easy, right? It shouldn't be too bad. All right, while the Blackstone heats up, I'm gonna get my stuff together. So I have four burger patties, so I might as well make them all. Got myself some cheese, a little seasoning stuff, some salt and pepper. Let's we'll see how this goes. I don't know what's going on, on with my Blackstone. I've never had an issue with it like, igniting, but I could not get it to go. So um, we're going to use the grill. And then that made me remember that I have some corn on the cob, so we're going to do that on the grill as well. Another thing I've never made on the grill before, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here's lunch. Burger, fruit, corn on the cob, sparkling water. And some blue skies out on the patio. None for you, buddy. Yeah, you can look at the chair. That's all you're getting. Nope, frisbee boy. Remember the table? Okay, good spot. It is bright out here. Okay, lunch is done. Salt came out fast in the corner of the cup, so I had to wipe some of that off. Otherwise, it's really good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it is now, let's see what time we're at. It's 2.20, and I need to be to work at 4.50. So I'll leave it at like 4.40. So I have like two hours and 20 minutes. I want to clean. I don't mean I don't want to, but that's I want to sit out here. But I need to clean. So let's clean and do some laundry, okay? Thanks for, thanks for keeping me, holding me accountable and making me be productive. Oh my gosh, it's bright. Okay, this is gonna look worse than it is since I just was cooking and didn't put anything away yet, but kitchen, we have some dishes, stuff to get off the counter over here as well. Um, yeah, this is from when I did those outdoor speakers so we can fix that. And here's not awful. This room's not bad either, but just some vacuuming, do some mopping, and we'll be good. Hello, other camera. Okay, let's get to it. It is 4.05, I got a lot of the stuff done that I wanted to, vacuum cleaned, new couch covers, because my dogs go on the couch. So new couch covers, the old ones that were on there are in the wash, got some laundry put away, and then um, a couple of my friends stopped by and they were out for a walk and came and hung out on the patio for a little bit. So that is what we've done this afternoon. <laughs> got two boys who just want to keep playing frisbee. All right, so kitchen counter is looking much better. Cleared off over here as well. I have a few dishes drying, some in the dishwasher. Over to the dining area. Go there, that box is something I need to do something with, so I'm keeping it there so I don't forget. New couch cushion or covers on, vacuumed. If you've been following along for this fireplace, still no fireplace, so we'll see if that ever gets done. So for now, that table's still there, so my sound bar can chill on it until I get a fireplace insert. And then over here, we're good, vacuumed. And yeah, much better down here. And feels good to have mopped after the wet dogs yesterday. 
I am hoping to make it to our volleyball games tonight. We have our league. Um, we play at 6.45, and that's probably when I'll get done with work. So if we get done about that time, I'm going to try to hustle out and play in the last two games, or maybe if they start late, I can be there for all of them. Um, but if it takes a little bit longer at work tonight, because we are doing pictures, I don't know if I already said this, of nine t-ball teams. So t-ballers, you know, that can it's like herding cats, so it could take longer. So if we get done after seven, I will, won't go. Um, so we'll see. But I'm going to just kind of chill before work. I have about 40 minutes till I have to leave. Um, so I might read a little bit and then take off. So I will check in with you. Maybe on my way to work. And then, yeah. Okay. So see you in a little bit. All right. It is like 4.45. It's like a five minute drive to the park we're taking, the baseball park that we're taking the pictures at. So I'm headed off. I did bring my volleyball stuff. Still hopeful I will be able to play. If not, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, showered, dressed. Let's go. I just got home. I'm sitting in my driveway and it is 9.26. I made it to volleyball. We took, I'd say seven t-ball team pictures and then two softball teams. And we got done at seven and I had texted my team and said like, hey, I'm not going to make it unless you start late. And we were supposed to start at 6.45 and at about 7.05, they said we won't be starting for a few minutes still. So um, I was got out there and played the last two sets. So we won all three we play three sets regardless so they won the first one when i was gone and then we won the next two as well and then we hung out for a little bit out there as well so that was good it was a perfect night um it's been so windy lately so tonight there was no wind it wasn't too hot it was great um pictures went actually really well um i said like i'm filling in for um my friend caitlin who had the baby and she did come tonight to help out because it was a bunch of t-ball teams and it's like worse than hurting cats trying to like position them and everything else so having three of us there was super nice it made it go just as smooth as it could so um that was it was great that she came and helped out and um yeah so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna shower quick and let's end off the night then <laughs> Oh, I forgot to say, I brought shorts. So I changed into these basketball shorts to play, but I forgot a shirt. So did I play in my polo? Yes, yes, I, yes I did. So that was great. All right, we're gonna end this video on the patio. I cannot get my fire table to work, which is disappointing. Um, the igniter's been funky for a little bit, but I, I just can't get it to go. But still a nice night. These are the vibes we're working with. I wish the fire table was working, but we'll take it. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. I'm gonna eat a little bedtime snack, maybe read a little bit, and then we're gonna head in. But Roger's gonna make himself comfy up there. It is about nine. Oh, I guess I'm holding my mic now. This is normally on top of the camera, but um, when I when I had it flipped around the other way, I was holding it. So I guess I'm gonna hold it for this last chunk. Um, we have a volleyball tournament tomorrow morning. So the varsity does, so I'm just gonna go with, um, and we have to leave at 6.30 a.m. So it's gonna be an early morning. So I will not be out here for too long. I'll be going in and going to bed soon. But thanks for hanging out. I hope it wasn't too, too boring of a day. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.